Hey everybody, welcome back. We have another Super M episode. Senior standing here in the background. We're going to work these block bars over today. Now, uh, I believe in the last episode we left off with having to order a larger set of honing stones because we could not go out to the block bore diameters with what we had. So what we did first was we got a set of 400 grit stones because we didn't want anything too aggressive. It turns out those were not removing material at the rate that we needed, so we went with a coarser stone, uh, which is a 220 grit. So we were down a few days to wait for the 400s. They showed up, and then we found we needed to get some new ones, so we were down for a few more days for the 220s. Also down for more days yet, I had to buy a new mic because I didn't have anything large enough to measure these liners, so that's a 4 to 5 inch mic that I had to buy. Um, we should be pretty well set up now, and we did all of our measurements to determine how much interference fit we had going between the sleeves and the block boards. So you can see we've done a little bit of work on number one bore. Um, all the old stripes are left in the other three. We have not really done anything to those, but I'll tell you those stones in that hone leave a really nice finish. So what we did is we've already sized number one sleeve to that cylinder. We got our routine down so we know exactly what we have to do on the other three but uh, some quick specs on everything before we started we did measure the block bores and measure the od of the sleeves and we found that we're running anywhere from a one to two thousandths uh, press fit with the sleeves and i think uh comment section a lot of guys said they like about half of a thousandth so at least we know how much material we had to take out i did do a quick measure of the block counter bores as opposed to the thickness of the upper shoulder on the sleeve and our protrusions indicate will be in the five to six thousandths range which should be good um, another thing we noticed when we measured the new sleeves uh, measured them at the uh, the upper part the middle and the lower part all four of them kind of bulge out towards the center um, the diameters are consistent top and bottom but we're about a thousandths fat in the center on each one now we were speculating maybe that is to uh, better conform to a press fit and get you know, better overall contact area along the entire body once it's installed in the block bore. I don't know, but you know, that's why we're not going to try machining down the OD of the sleeves. Uh, we decided it's much better to try and size these block bores to them. So now that we have number one done, we're just going to go on and do the same process on the other three. And once we get a sleeve matched to a hole, that is going to be that sleeve's home from this point on. Squat Senior here. Here we're getting set up for number two cylinder. Number one is looking good to our satisfaction. Maybe I got uh, Squatch 253 here assisting me with this thing. It's uh, a whole lot easier for him to operate that drill than for me. So, anyway, we're getting set up. We'll get this thing going and see. We'll just do a quick initial, see what things look like. If you look close, you can see the dust coming out of her. Doing an initial, another little tightening on it. First couple cuts are uh, kind of rough because we're taking a lot of the embedded oil and just old debris and just the grit, the dirt from the cylinder walls out. It usually packs the stones pretty full too. And I got a mask on too because of this dust. It's just some nasty stuff. Be sure to make consistent passes. Um, I referenced this little collar up here with the counter bar. That puts my stones about an inch out of the bottom of the bar. And then just kind of watch and make sure they come up out of the top. You definitely want to be doing uh, consistent depth, consistent travel, and consistent speed. It keeps your cylinder consistent diameter from top to bottom. But Yeah, if you bring it out too far, you have a tendency to bell mouth your cylinders. And uh, definitely don't want that to happen. You see all that? gunk that's starting to clog the stone. Yeah, so we're going to have to do a, a cleaning on the stones. We'll assess what we did and go from there. Okay, you can kind of see the shiny from the hone and the dark. Looks like a tiger stripe in there. We took the bore gauge, checked that out. We're finding about a thousandths difference in uh, diameter there, so between the shiny and the dark spot. Uh, seems to be picking up a lot of gunk on the stones uh, until we get that cleaned out of there. Not sure if you can really pick it out here. We'll shine a light. But in a way, it kind of looks, previously they did a uh, kind of a retainer or something on the sleeves. 
it's kind of a greenish tint if you can get a good probably can't see it on the camera but anyway i think that's part of what we're picking up a lot of stuff is to get that possible retainer they put in to hold them sleeves so we're gonna do a little bit of honing and stuff on here and uh, we'll get back to our progress okay that's our final hone i think we're getting really really close here so we're gonna give her one one final hone and uh, see uh, t do a press test fit to see right where we're at Okay, I've been doing a little bit of uh, honing on this. Some interesting things going on here. In line with the block, we've just about got our stripes all wiped out here. And you get off to the side, you can see how they get wider. And the same over here, we're just about out. So this cylinder obviously is a little bit egg-shaped in there. So this is going to be a good deal to get that. One of our indicators too is when we start uh, eliminating the stripes, we know we're starting to get close to a test fit. We did do a, a quick test fit, try to slide it in, won't even go into the uh, cylinder yet. So, got some more honing to do. But anyway, when these start stripes start to disappear, that's when we know we're getting close. And now is where we regularly test the fit. And we're just doing this dry, there's no oil. You can see we're about we're about three quarters of an inch we can start it in right now and on the front one dry we went to we could go in about two inches <clears throat> and then when we added a little bit of oil it went even better so this is the point now where it doesn't bother to even measure we're just going to do trial and error we're going to hone a little bit lightly check it hone it check it until we finish it out all right senior doing what i expect to be the final fit up See, we can start them in by hand. You got to get them absolutely square before they'll go. That looks like a pretty good uh, push. We'll just compare the depth with another sleeve to see how far we went. Yeah, see, if we put oil on this, we'd get probably twice that much. So I think we're going to call this one good too. So that's number two. We basically got half the block done. Um, what we'll do is just carry out the same procedure for three and for four. And then we'll look at getting these installed. Okay, you can see how he tightens after the stone gets loose again, just to keep uh, a right tension on that. All right, the honing and the sizing is complete, so we have a little bit of an after-action report here. Um, you'll notice uh, cylinder one and cylinder two are the cleanest. Uh, cylinder two, we had a little bit of this low dark spot right here, but the rest of it pretty much cut out. Number one pretty much cleaned up completely, and we did take more material out of these because these did have the C stamps on, so they were a slightly smaller bore anyway. Three and four, not so much. You can still see quite a bit of the stripes left in there. Four cleaned up pretty good here and here, but then crossways, there was a little bit more material. Those were the D stamps, so they were a little bit larger anyway. Now, cylinder three was just all around funny. Um, when I first started cutting, you could feel like a high spot or a hard spot towards the top of the bore. And we did end up getting that cut out. It cleaned up. Like I said, we didn't take quite as much out, but from sizing the sleeve, we quit where it seemed just about right. But that kind of matches with the the bad cylinder number three piston that we had before that had all of that horrendous scuffing on it. And if you look at the way the crown is positioned, that would have been long, you know, lengthways with the engine. It was tight on that side, 180 off is a little bit tight on the other side. So number three is was just a funny bore. Now, is this a what came first, chicken or the egg type thing? Was it a funny bore when they put this sleeve and piston in, they had a tight spot that caused the scuffing or did something else happen, generate a lot of heat and then further um, add to the distortion that could have happened on that hole. Personally, we don't know. I think this here hole was egg shaped. You mm -hmm. can see how it pretty much cleaned out in line with the bore. Yep. And you still got a lot of the tiger striping on the sides. So, so. I think basically my number three problem those were too tight in here. Yeah. I think that's what caused her scuffing. Could have just been blockboard distortions. Yeah. So, 
anyway that's pretty much the breakdown on the honing sleeves have all been fit uh, we cleaned all of these bores out with clean oil and a rag until everything came out clean uh, we're not ready to wash the block yet because we still don't know if those sleeves are going to need honing after we install them but next step pull some of those sleeves in light coating of oil on the sleeve and cylinder wall I like that so it's a solid third of the way in by hand and then it stops so we'll pull it in the rest of the way from here according to the book that's what factory specs are supposed to be a quarter to a third of the way in all right so we have the adapter on the top and our pulling rod is down bar on the bottom of the engine seniors gonna be down here cranking away I'm up here keeping everything from turning and we just let that drift its way in I do like the way it's pulling we've got our friction as we need it and I can even feel I, I am counteracting a little bit of a, a twist here yep. with the bar so we're into the uh, wide part of the sleeve right now I can feel we're getting a little stiffer so we are definitely getting our fit compressed fit like we need and it, it's not banging either it's not popping it's not you know it's a nice steady even press fit and honestly when I'm fitting these dry sleeves I'd like to see that and no we're not going to use ice we're not going to heat the block everything else because we were two thousandths over at least on our measurements and we're probably got a zero fit on the top and bottom but we got a one thousandths fit in the center of the sleeve which is adequate we're not going to be flexing that sleeve out of shape when everything stabilizes in temperature again and actually i kind of like this we know our bore is round it's not egg shaped anymore so i don't think we're going to have a problem we're just... yeah we're getting stiffer all the time so i know we got a good tight fit and what I like too, we were able to start it in by hand and I know we're started square. That's, <laughs> that's a worry off of my mind as well. Still can't believe when I did my H, what, back in 2006? Round in there. Yeah, all four of those sleeves just pushed right in by hand. Just plunk, 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 plunk. <laughs> and I was done. Yet. And it's real running good, but I didn't know about all this, oh my God, that we were going to have to hone and size the bores and fit and... Honestly, I like the way this is going in. To me, this is about right. To me, it's perfect. And it's still going to be tight enough. It's going to hold itself in place at, so that if you put pistons in and have to crank it over without a head on it, they're not going to be pushed around. And Okay, we're getting down to it now. So Senior's going to start really paying attention. Okay, I'd start slowing down. He's going to start paying attention when this bottom's out. We're going to want to let off. You're going to be pretty darn close here any second. I think yeah, you're good. I feel her tight yep. right there. Back her off. We're good. We don't want to force the uh, shoulder up into that counter bore and risk any damage. So now we just take the puller bar out and repeat the process. Half an inch. Quarter. I'll let you know when it starts slowing. Okay, start slowing her down. We're starting in the counter bore. Go, 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 go. Anytime. Right there. Yep. Just felt snug. You got a good eighth yet keep going keep going still good we're still sticking up anytime now we're still high i think you're down now yep all right just gonna seat number four by hand and we probably won't do the time lapse of this because we're we're getting so close to the frame of the engine stand that we're going to have to do like three quarters of a turn and then you know reset and, and go like that this one's going to take a little more time but just drawn into the counter bore now we're almost there
Okay, anytime. I think you're there. Yeah, I'm there. Yep. You yeah, always still prefer to twist uh, down on the bottom because if we uh, if we spun on the top, it would want to try and uh, impart some rotation into the rest of this stuff. But all in all, it looks like it worked out pretty well. So, dang, it was a lot of work getting up to this point to get those sleeves in there. Um, it was probably a week and a half, close to two weeks, between uh, waiting on tools and getting the first set of stones and then trying those. They didn't work. Getting the second set of stones, waiting for those to show up. But after all that fooling around, I think we have less than four hours invested into actually honing the bores, sizing the sleeves, and then getting them pressed in. You know, it's, it's all in the preparation. But... Um, I think we're going to wrap the video right here. I did take the bore gauge and just check these. I can't detect any taper top to bottom, any change in dimension, anything like that. But until we actually fit the pistons in there, see what our skirt to cylinder wall clearance is, we don't really know if we're done honing yet. So we're going to hold off on cleaning the block because it takes a good pressure washing after you've blasted all of that grit all over. I mean, it's it goes throughout these things. So... This, uh, this is going to undergo one really, really good cleaning yet. But like I said, we're going to wrap the video right here. Um, sizing or fitting pistons is going to be next. That's probably not going to happen for a little while. Senior is actually getting ready to leave on another week-long road trip as we speak. I don't have enough time to work on this all by myself, so that's going to have to wait until he comes back. But thank you for watching, everybody. I know we're, just, we're going awful slow on this thing, but progress is progress. Hope to see you back again.